the Batmobile. <gasps> Adam West! Hey, kids, Batman! Dad, that's not the real Batman. Of course I'm Batman. See, here's a picture of me with Robin. Who the hell's Robin? Oh, I guess you're only familiar with the new Batman movies. Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> the only true Catwoman is Julie Newmar, Lee Merriweather, or Eartha Kitt. And I didn't need molded plastic to improve my physique. Pure West. And how come Batman doesn't dance anymore? Remember the bat to see? <clears throat> Yo, hey, yeah, yeah. <sighs> hey, nice meeting you. Just keep moving. Don't make eye contact. episode of our special science series dedicated to my favourite superhero, Batman. Over the course of 10 shows, I'll re-watch, critique and rank all the Batman movies up to 2022's The Batman. So let's kick things off with some camp, 60s fun, Batman the movie from 1966. Emergency. Batman speaking. Warning all of you to brace yourselves for big news. The biggest. Tell them, Robin. Holy superlatives, Batman. It's really exciting. Soon, very soon, Batman and I will be batapulting right out of your TV sets and onto your theater screens. That's right, Robin. Our first full-length motion picture feature in color opens a whole new world of thrills. The big screen gives us more space on land, sea, and in the air to challenge the most bataclysmic collection of super criminals that ever plotted to take over the world. Number one, the Riddler. Question, who's going to make the feathers fly and knock Batman and Robin out of the sky? Number two, the Joker. Have you heard this one? It'll kill you, Batman. <laughs> Number three, the penguin. There are two eggs this wily bird is going to scramble, Batman and Robin. <laughs> Number four, the Catwoman. Oh, you're going to see the perfect crime when I get Batman in my claws. And that's just a sample of the exciting exploits ahead in our first feature motion picture. Holy memoranda, folks. Make a note not to miss it. Good thinking, Robin. Now, at Penny's, authentic Batman toys and games, new and exciting, wow! Batman and Robin color portrait, one dollar. Batman periscope, 77 cents. Batman doll, only 9.98. Batman horn, 77 cents. Batman card game, exciting fun for a dollar nineteen. Batman game by Milton Bradley, only two sixty six. Batman and Robin button, thirty three cents. Authentic cape and mask, ninety nine cents a set. Batman belt, only a dollar, and a wrist radio for only three ninety nine. Now at seven big penny stores: North Park, Big Town, Richardson, Casaview, and Lancaster Keast in Dallas. Seminary South in Richland Hills and Fort Worth. And she is one of the evil ones. Oh, and the uh, <laughs> I want to, if we could, look how evil she uh, <laughs> the claws of the cat woman. <laughs> do you were meowing while ago? Do us some meow. Oh, you want some meow? Yeah, so let's huh? see. Do you want uh, uh, ecstasy meow? All right. <laughs> oh, you'll see that <laughs> when I'm uh, flying on a jet umbrella. I see. That, that's the jet that's umbrella the jet. ecstasy meow. <laughs> <laughs> How did you learn all of those? I had assumed somebody else did them. No, no. As a matter of fact, I, I had to even loop my own meows because of sound difficulties and everything. They didn't get them, and I came in for a whole day of looping just the meows. So Batman was released in 1966 and was directed by Leslie H. Martinson. And the plot, well, Kapowie, holy feature film Batman one based on the tongue-in-cheek campy 1960s television series Watch Batman, Adam West and Robin, Burt Ward 
Battle Sharks, Catwoman, The Joker and The Riddler on the big screen. Can they try and prevent the bad guys from taking over the world? With a wham and a pow and a zip, our heroes might just win. So the gross for this movie it grossed 3.9 million US dollars worldwide on a budget of 1.4 million. So its profit multiplier it made nearly three times its budget. Ratings wise, it has an 81% fresh Rotten Tomato score, a 71 out of 100 critic meta score on IMDb. Uh, audience wise, it has a 62% Rotten Tomato score and a 6.5 out of 10 IMDb audience rating. And here's the fact for you. At 105 minutes long, this is the shortest live action Batman movie. And in summary, Batman the movie elevates camp to an art form and has a blast doing it. Every gloriously tongue-in-cheek inch of the way. It's been 21 years since Batman and Robin were on TV, except for reruns, and yes, they can still fit into their costumes, uh, just barely. Uh, why don't you uh, take a look here? Uh, just go ahead, tilt down. And careful, careful. <laughs> Holy hot air, Batman and Robin, all those legislators, please save us. Do you feel there's a need for it? Of course. Good. I wouldn't be here. Good. It's, it's nice to be needed. And nice to uh, still fit in the utility belt. Wowie zowie, folks. The Cape Crusaders are talking about a movie and TV comeback. But gee, which villains are still left? As we've pretty much cleaned up Gotham City, Joker, Riddler, Penguin... Catwoman, they're all in the slammer. So, obviously I wasn't born when this uh, first came out. I think the first time I seen it was after coming home from a Christmas party at some point in the, the 1980s. And I was very familiar with the TV show uh, from reruns on Breakfast TV in, I think, 1988, 1989. And it is what it is. It's just a, a camp, humorous take on Batman. You know, uh, good sight gags, you, you're great. <laughs> you know, having signs on things like uh, you know, the bat ladder, the bat shark repellent, and so on. And talking of which, that's one of the greatest fight sequences in movie history. Batman fighting the, the, the rubber shark, you know. Holy sardine, Batman. Take her up! Um, I like seeing the old 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning of the movie. And I just love the over-the-top hammy performances. It just looks like everybody is having uh, a good time. So going into specifics, uh, a few things. It's obvious Robin's disguise is the worst disguise in history. You are always going to know it's Robin. I think Alfred uses a, a Robin-style mask in the movie as well. Again, worst disguise ever. Uh, it's, it's great now being able, with obviously 4K and high definition, being able to see Caesar, um, Caesar Romero, who plays the Joker, to see his moustache underneath the Joker makeup uh, as he refused to shave it off. As it's the movie, we got the introduction of things like the bat bowl and the bat copter and the bat bike. Because obviously there was a, a bigger budget and the, the, they couldn't do those things on the, the TV series. So good to see them. You sniveling sardine! Are you pompous, puffed up penguin? Your friends make peace. Have a shake uh, on me. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, a joke a day keeps the gloom away. I love the jaunty camera angles in the, the movie, which they also done in the, the TV series. And coming back actually to Cesar Romero's Joker just for a second. I don't know if it's just me, but why is he playing the Joker with what seems like an Irish accent? I really don't get that uh, at all. Uh, I do believe it's that arch criminal, the Joker. Ladies and gentlemen, my staff of felonious furriers. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody, to the center of the room. Come, 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 come. A joke. 
What are more mink skins used for than anything else? To hold minks together! <laughs> uh, another thing I liked was when uh, Batman is getting the bomb away from the, the bar and he, he says that, yep, they may be drinkers, but they're still human. God bless you, Batman. Uh, and that's actually a good sequence. Batman trying to get rid of that bomb and, you know, there's obviously various obstacles that get put in his way. Batman! It's all right, Robin. Holy heart failure! Fortunately, I was able to dispose of that bomb in the nick of time and shield myself behind these heavy iron pipes. You risked your life to save that riffraff in the bar? They may be drinkers, Robin, but they're also human beings and may be salvaged. I had to do it. Uh, I love the fact that the, the five goons that are going to be used for testing Penguin's Ray to miniaturize or reduce people. The goons are wearing uh, guinea pig shirts. Uh, I also love that Batman says that uh, to Robin, you know, lucky we're in tip top condition as they're running through uh, Gotham. And I think just prior to that, there were helicopter crashes. Um, and by some miracle, they land on um, some rubber. Some luck landing right on top of a bed of foam rubber. Yes, Robin. I'd say the odds against it would make even the most reckless gambler cringe. True, I did think I'd spotted it out of the corner of my eye. Another thing, actually, just talking about the helicopter is as Batman and Robin are on their bat bike, um, and as they get to the, the helicopter, uh, Robin's sidecar separates to go round to his side of the copter. Totally cool and totally unneeded. So yeah, for me, it's it's just a a good, fun, camp movie. Uh, not something to be taken too seriously. But I'd be glad to take your order. I am a little hungry. Of course, Robin. Even crime fighters must eat. And especially you. You're a growing boy and you need your nutrition. Hamburgers, medium rare. May I recommend bat burgers? Bat burgers? Trouble stealing your appetite. Arrest it with our new bat burger. <laughs> I'm honored by this tribute, miss. Two bat burgers, medium rare, and two glasses of orange aid, a doubles. So where would I rank this? Ooh, uh, I would put this uh, in middle tier. Yeah, top middle or lower tier, I would put it in the middle. It's, it's obviously not the greatest Batman movie, uh, but certainly not poor. It's good fun. So yeah, it's going in the middle, the middle for me. Hello, citizens. I'm taking a holiday from crime fighting in Gotham City. No rest from danger, though, because all around us is that deadly daily danger, traffic. I admire the way all you British children triumph over this danger by learning and using the road safety code, like curb drill. Before crossing the road, you stop at the curb, look right, look left, look right again, and then only if the road is clear, walk quickly across. Now, children, how does it go? At the curb, stop. Look right, look left, look right again. If all's clear, walk quickly across. Remember, be smart, be safe. Always do your curb drill. Okay, well, it's time for us to take off our cowls and capes as we exit Gotham City. Before we go, though, we'd love to hear what you think of the movies, so please get in touch and we'll read out your comments on one of the upcoming shows, and you'll find our contact details in the show description. So, as Adam West and Burt Ward ride off into the sunset, we turn our attention to 1989's Batman, starring Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson and Kim Basinger. So be sure to come back for that show on the same Bat Channel. Until then, keep trimming. Trimming the Movie Fat is a Stephen and Paul Nicholson production. We'd love to hear from you. Contact us by voicemail via the Spotify link in the episode description. You can email us at trimmingthemusicfat at gmail.com. 
Keep up to date with the show and access exclusive content by joining our Facebook group, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and following us on TikTok. You can also check out our website at trimmingthemusicalfat.com. Thanks for listening.